everybody. So, <clears throat> it's been a little bit of a trying day for me. I'm surprised you can't see my eyes. Um, a little while ago, I had to give myself three epi injections. Um, I had a very severe uh, allergic reaction to one of my uh, animals and was having trouble breathing. <clears throat> eyes were swelling shut. Mouth was getting numb. My lips were swelling. Luckily, I'm, I'm much better now. So, on the bench tonight, we have a new bourbon review. Um, tonight is our anniversary for me and my wife. We just got back in from celebrating. And uh, this was actually on my doorstep. I don't know who gave it to me. Um, it's brand new. We just broke the cap off. Uh, whoever it is, thank you so very much. But, according to the bottle, this is a James E. Pepper 1776 Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, it's 100 proof, and with my eyes, if I can read, it says, uh, in this bottle <clears throat> lies the oldest and most leg legendary whiskey uh, known to man in Kentucky history. The same old style and methods are uh, have been used in personal use to restore this legendary fine whiskey in its legendary history unfiltered again my eyes are very blurred so trying to read that cursive and that font that's kind of hard to do um this also on the back says born with the republic established in 1780 during the american revolutionary the pepper family brand is the oldest brand of whiskey made in kentucky the brand was fought fondly called Old 1776 by its silicons and the county or Colonel James E. Pepper. Uh, this fine whiskey is handcrafted and hand bottled at the historic Pepper Distillery in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, this bottle came from barrel lot number 2201. Um, it was bottled in 2017. Hmm. So if it was just one year earlier, that would have been our uh, wedding day because we got married in 2016 uh, It's a dark bottle kind of like a wine bottle um, Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with this so I have no idea what the tasting notes are supposed to be um, I have never seen this bottle. I did do a brief research on Google and For this particular bottle that sells for about 39 to 49 dollars depending on what stores you get it from um, If you get it from a total wine it's $49.99 if you get it from a mom and pop uh, ABC, it's around $39 to $40 a bottle. So let's open Message it up. from White. <clears throat> what 18.5 inches, five tier hamster cage see. with tubes and tunnels, small animal cage, red gerbil cage with water bottle, me, my, food dish, um, exercise wheel, blue HTTPS colon slash slash echo slash D slash six arson nine TL. Okay, there we go. All right, sorry about that. So the color is somewhat good. It's nice and decent mm, the aroma is really good mm. I'm getting a hint of corn barley definitely some rye uh, a hint of vanilla maybe a little bit of uh, cocoa so that is pretty pleasant um, on the the take uh, the nose yeah, that's about all I'm smelling. All right, so let's give her a uh, try. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Very smooth. Very good. Wow. <clears throat> and for 100 proof, wow. Um, yeah. That is really good. And I don't know if you can see, but it's a full bottle. <clears throat> Yeah, that's very smooth, very good. Um, you can definitely taste the vanilla, the corn, the um, a little hint of cocoa. You can definitely taste the barley and the rye, if that's a uh, uh, way to describe it. But the smooth, the ending finish, perfect. That is really good. So, on a scale of 1 to 10... I would rate this, mm, let's give it a nine. This is something I would definitely put on my bar. 
at home. I'm actually going to look this up in my local store. Uh, now it's got my curiosity. So, if you're a cigar smoker, what will we pair it with? Let's see. <clears throat> 100 proof, full body bourbon. I think this deserves a Corojo. So, for me, I would go with a Camacho Corojo. Um, if you cannot find the, uh, the uh, Camacho, then I would go with Oscar Leaf, or Leaf by Oscar, in either the Madura or the Corojo. That would be a great pair. Um, another one that I would pair this would be the um, my father's The Judge. That would be a really good one. And if you're looking for something a little bit more expensive, definitely the Pappy Van Winkle cigar. Oh, mama mia, that would definitely be a good one for this one. Um, yeah, heck yeah. If you're really wanting the pair, go with the Pappy Van Winkle Toro. With this bourbon, oh, it would open up the best of both worlds. Uh, Aliga Pavada, that would be another one. Maybe the Pig's Tail or the... Um, P52, that would be another one, or number nine would be another recommendation. So I hope that helps you out on pairing with the cigars to your bourbon. Um, if you would like to see me uh, do a review of one of your favorites, please send me a message, let me know. I would definitely like to do it for you. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave those with me also. And also I have a Patreon channel. Uh, I'd like to thank all of the people who follow my channel um, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for being loyal customers and fans. Um, I don't only do this. I'm a full-time magician, gunsmith, clock and watch repair person, leather maker, uh, custom jewelry maker. So my hands are always busy and I'm always in the shop. So hit me up on Facebook or YouTube or even now on uh, TikTok. Until next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Have a wonderful evening.